Okay, so we'll talk about the problem of uh, priority inversion. Um, this can happen in any system which has at least uh, three tasks, which say uh, task T1 uh, having greater priority than priority than task T2, which is in turn having greater priority than uh, task T3. So we'll assume a uh, priority based uh, preemptive uh, round robin scheduler, as is the case with um, uh, Linux. And um, to another system, we'll plot the uh, priority versus uh, time of execution. So this is the time of execution. And uh, this is the priority. Task uh, T1 is of uh, greater priority than task uh, T2, which is in turn greater than priority than uh, task T3. So I will assume I will start analyzing the system at a point in which uh, T1 and T2 are done with the time slices and T3 is then scheduled. So T3 starts running and it acquires a resource um, S at a point T1 and uh, continues the execution onto a critical section. At this point, T1 becomes uh, ready to be run and the uh, uh, scheduler will actually preempt task uh, T3 and allow T1 to run. T1 will start run, running and uh, T1 now requires the resource S which is held by uh, the task T3. At this point, T1 becomes blocked and the uh, scheduler will check for the next eligible task to be run on the ready queue. At this point, assume T2 is not yet ready to be run and we'll come back to this assumption in a bit. And uh, T3 uh, is uh, scheduled to run now because there are no other tasks to be uh, available. So T3 will be scheduled and T3 will continue its execution. Before T3 could uh, complete its execution, this is save point. Before T3 could uh, complete execution, T2 um, becomes ready and at this point, um, scheduler will preempt task uh, T t3 and allow t2 to run because uh, t2 hours of high priority and t2 will continue its execution it will in fact complete the execution of it uh, itself uh, till the exhaustion of time slice because even if there were uh, multiple points of scheduler uh, scheduling in between and t1 uh, could not be scheduled because it is still waiting on the uh, resource s on the resource rate queue and t3 is of lower priority so once t3 uh, t2 completes um, now the scheduler will check at this point this is at this point, a scheduler will further check for the um, <coughs> eligible task to be run. At this point, also T1 is still blocked on S and uh, T3 will be allowed to run. So uh, at this point, uh, T2 will, T3 will continue to run and it will release the resource S at some point in time, say P5. At this point, and the release of the resource S will be informed uh, to the uh, task uh, T1 which is waiting on the resource S and it will acquire the resource S and continue the execution. As you can see that T1 was made to wait for both task T2 and T3 which are of lower priority. This is the basic uh, problem of priority inversion. The task T1 waiting for a task T3 is acceptable because it is holding a resource which is required by T1. But task T1 waiting for task T2 is not acceptable because it is not holding any resource which is required by T1. So this this time between the um, uh, T3 and P4 is a time of uh, priority inversion which has to be avoided. Coming back to the assumption we made at point uh, P2 uh, saying that uh, T2 was not ready at this point P2 even if T2 was ready this time uh, slice would have just shifted here and this time would have shifted here. Even in that case, the time slice of uh, T2 would have been completed before it could give the uh, control, to, to control to the task uh, T1. So the priority uh, inversion times would have been the same. The priority inversion could get further aggravated if there are uh, tasks, further tasks between the priority of uh, T1 and T2 or there are tasks uh, with priority uh, between T2 and T3. So this kind of multiple time, ta time slices of lower priority tasks will further delay the uh, execution of time uh, task T1. This is the basic problem of priority inversion. This problem can be avoided by uh, using the priority ceiling or priority inheritance or uh, random boosting and uh, things like that. So we will talk about these things in the next video.